Evolution is how life developed from a single cell to what we see around us today. And I'm not just talking about biological evolution from apes and other primates. We have had profound evolution in many spheres of life, including in communication and information technology. And while it is true that technology frequently produces surprises that nobody predicts, the biggest developments are often anticipated decades in advance. Let me give you a few examples. Irrespective of whether you're a teacher, a student, or any other professional, I think we can all agree that the internet is something we use super frequently, on a daily basis. But how many of you know how it all really began? Well, in 1994, Vannevar Bush described what he called the Memex, a single device that was capable of storing all books, records, and communications, and mechanically linking them together by association. Four decades later, this Memex led to the development of the World Wide Web. And how many of your Friday night plans include some Netflix with a bowl of popcorn on the side? Many of you, I'm guessing. These streaming wars between Amazon and Netflix have only begun now. But the first streaming video took place more than 25 years ago. So in this context, the biggest development as of yet would probably be the internet. But now, we seem to be evolving faster than ever. And the winds of change seem to be blowing strongly as global tech giants and stakeholders rush to position themselves for the next big thing after the internet, the metaverse. The term first came up in 1994 in a fictional novel called Snow Crash. Not so fictional anymore. What with Facebook changing its name to Meta, a young couple in Tamil Nadu hosting their wedding reception in the metaverse, and even the Education Ministry's tableau at this year's Republic Day Parade on the theme Vedas to Metaverse. The term metaverse is becoming relatively popular nowadays. Let's begin with the origins of the word metaverse. It comes from the Greek word meta, meaning beyond, and the word verse, which stands for universe. In other words, the metaverse is something beyond the universe. The metaverse is a virtual reality world where users can live and interact with each other through their digital avatars. And these avatars can be anything you make them. They can be tall or thin, fair or tan. They can have any of the features you always wished you had. And if you're disabled and you thought that you could never walk again, then through the metaverse, you can go hiking on the Andes, swimming in Hawaii, zip lining through Costa Rica, and all in a single day. But if any of you are skeptical about how it's possible to live your entire life digitally, then just think about this. How many people do you know of today who care more about how their profile on Instagram looks than on how they look in real life? Today, with filters becoming virtual makeup and almost everyone in your contact book posting at least a story a day, the day when our lives shifts to being completely digital is not that far off. In the words of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, the metaverse is an immersive, embodied internet using cutting-edge technologies like blockchain, augmented reality, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence, where users are actually inside of the experience rather than just looking at it on a screen. With this idea of metaverse in mind, let's take a look at the three major pillars of a metaverse. Firstly, persistence. This means that the metaverse will exist regardless of time and place, just as we exist in the physical world. Secondly, synchronicity. Participants of the metaverse will be able to interact with one another and with the digital environment in real time, with actions and reactions working just as they do in the physical world. And finally, and probably the most interesting, a fully functioning economy. Individuals and businesses will be able to create, own, invest, sell, and be rewarded for an incredibly wide range of work. We know that any society, be it physical or virtual, needs a functioning, working economy. And in the metaverse, 
the economy depends on authentication of digital possessions. This could be a home, a car, or even just a piece of clothing. But then the question arises, how do you authenticate your belongings in virtual reality? The answer is non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. They are records of digital ownership which help you to validate everything you own, to the extent that you can even validate your own identity. And with virtually everything in life becoming online, data is going to be overwhelmingly difficult to control. We know that the metaverse is huge. It will revolutionize human existence in the coming years. But every coin has a flip side. The disadvantages associated with the metaverse is mainly the separation that will happen between people and reality. We may eventually become so addicted to the metaverse that we forget to live in the real world. So to sum up, just as computers were in the 80s, the internet was in the 90s, smartphones were after 2000s, or as cryptocurrencies were in the last decade, the metaverse is what our time is going to be marked by. It's not a far-off futuristic idea that will take years to turn into reality. With the COVID-19 pandemic showing us that life can continue online, that we can get things done with the same, if not better, efficiency virtually, the shift to the metaverse is fast approaching. How it impacts us depends a lot on us and on how we choose to use it. Thank you.